This here's Home and Homesteader down at Ma Homesteaders. We've been doing a little bit of spring cleaning out here by the grapevines. Not exactly sure what we're doing, but we're trimming them back some. It's been a couple years. Wanted to show you the progress we made and let you know don't be afraid to do a little of your own pruning. Even if you're not exactly sure what you're doing, we might see at the end of the fall what this looks like. But my homesteader wanted her grapevines cleaned up. And so, here we go. This is the half that we've done so far. And you can see some of the older grapevines. And we're leaving some of the newer ones coming up too. On some of these, I trimmed them way back as you can see. There were three here. And I'm trimming two of them pretty far back. And I'm going to leave the other one grow and grow and grow and grow. There was one here at the end of these posts. Could see my homesteader couldn't wait to get the lawnmower out. Do a little mowing. We're going to put this one at the end of the season. And we're going to bring it down here into the ground. So that we can have another vine coming up from here. But anyway, this is the progress we made so far. A couple of them that had taken root. I'm putting in pots. May not even be able to see that's camouflaged so well. But I got that one. I dug up the whole stump that was someplace you didn't want. Here's one I found growing about six feet under the ground. And so I coiled up the roots and put some dirt over top. I know that looks upside down, but that's where it grew down into the ground. Come out the other side. So I trimmed that up. We'll take that up to the homestead. Also, some black caps have been coming up naturally. Uh, they got some pretty good roots down in there. I'm going to put these in dirt here in a second. But I want to show you, we're trying to harvest some of the stuff. And mom homesteader don't necessarily want those black caps growing here. So I'm rehoming them. We're going to get some blackberries from Hannah, Hennifer, Henriette, Harriet. Something we're still looking for H name for her. Here's kind of what the grapevine looked like prior to us starting to clean them up been two years three years actually since Ma homesteader did a little pruning on these and so today we're getting them quite the grape haircut anyway as you can see over here some of the black cap vines we took out we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of this here and uh over here, you'll see there's another line of grapes. It's in a little bit more disrepair. We're going to try and get this all fixed up too. Hopefully get us a good crop. Take these here trees out, shading them out. Hopefully get a good crop. This year, like I said, we're experimenting a little bit. We did a brief read through on some how to prune. Said to leave two. One of the books said leave two sprouts. Uh, two growth things, and I'll show you what that is. Each of these is a growth bud. Those little, where the branches come out. And so one of the books I said saw said leave to at least one to two of those. You can see them here a little bit bigger on this vine. Said to leave one to two of those. And then one said if you're going to transplant them, to leave at least four and make sure that you planted them right side up. And so that was one of the things I was pointing out over here, is if you did cuttings, what you'd wanna do, these actually have roots, but if you're doing the cuttings, you'd wanna leave, let's say we clip this down here, we'd wanna leave one, two, three, four, we'd trim off this vine here and here, and then we put one down below this first one. We'd put down below the soil with a little root hormone, rooting hormone on it. And we would make sure to plant it right side up. That's one of the reasons I made the point that this here had roots on it. This side is right side up where it'd come back out of the ground after rooting. There's about six or eight feet of root coiled up in there. And then so this upside down. 
if you're making your own cutting, you wouldn't want to put it upside down like this. You'd want to flip it over and leave out one, two, three, four. Whoops, I guess my hand got out of the camera. One, two, three. I don't know if you could see that one under there. Three, four. So you could trim it here. That would actually give you five. You'd put this one under the soil with some rooting hormone and then leave at least three of them but you do it right side up. I got this one here upside down because it had roots and came back up out the ground over here. Anyway, just a little bit of my homesteaders. Woo! A little craziness with the camera turning around. A little bit here at my homesteaders uh, doing some grapevine trimming and uh, black cat removing, rehoming to the homestead because she don't want them and we do. I know she don't want to be on camera, but any of y'all know my homesteader. She's quite spry. And there she is on the lawnmower just waiting for the grass to come up because she loves mowing the lawn. She got a big chuckle out of that. I know several fans have said how vigorous she looks on camera. I just want to show you, even at 80, you can get out and do some of what you want. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to say today, get out, do some of what you want, enjoy whatever it is you do today, wherever it is you go. Make sure you have your best day, and just thought you'd like an update on the property.